Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Darren Bush. Good evening, everyone. Having a good time? Really? Having a good time? There you go, better. So how all of you who are in retail or uh, manufacturers probably get three or four phone calls a week from someone saying something like, uh, dude, um, I'm going down the whatever river to raise awareness for earlobe cancer and will you give me $2,000 in a boat? How many of you have had that happen to you? Right, okay. Um, it happens a lot. And what's really inspiring is when somebody takes uh, a trip with no assistance, they don't ask for anything. They do it just because they love it. And the winner of this, this, uh, this category is a man who decided to take a trip that replicated the one his uncle did years before from his hometown in Canada all the way to New Orleans. And uh, you'll find out more about him during, during the film. And uh, let's, let's watch that now. Rocky Contos, Amazon Headwaters Expedition. Rocky Contos discovered a new source of the Amazon and first deed it in the name of science. He ran the other three sources for fun, self-supported, in a $300 boat, elevating the dirtbag aesthetic to an art form. Dave and Amy Freeman, Wilderness Classroom. Dave and Amy Freeman and their dog Fennel spent three years circling North America by kayak and canoe. Best of all, they shared the adventure with school children around the world. Mark Kalk, Missouri, Mississippi, Solo Descent. Mark Kalk paddled 3,700 miles from the Missouri River's highest source to the sea. The epic solo journey was part of Kalk's quest to run each of the seven continents' great rivers from top to bottom. Mary Catterlin and Amy Lucas. Lake Michigan by Dugout Canoe. Mary Catterlin carved a dugout canoe from a cottonwood log. Paddling it around Lake Michigan was Amy Lucas' idea. Their three-month, 1,200-mile Great Lake journey started and ended in their hometown of Beverly Shores, Indiana. Dominique Le Boiron. Saskatchewan to New Orleans. Dominique's Uncle Mitch loved canoeing and New Orleans in equal measure. When Mitch died suddenly at the age of 42, Dominique vowed to make one last canoe trip with his favorite uncle. From their home in Saskatchewan all the way to the Big Easy, where Dominique spread his ashes to the wind. So, the Spirit of Adventure Award goes to Dominic Laboren. Everybody. I can't tell you how happy and how honored I am to win the Spirit of Adventure Award. Thank you to my friend Paul Garo who nominated me and thank you for all of you who voted for me. I couldn't have won this without you. And uh, thank you very much to Canoe and Kayak Magazine for your support and for your coverage of Canoe to New Orleans. And lastly, I want to dedicate this uh, award to all the flood victims who live along the Bow River. All the thousands and thousands of people who lost their homes in June, this award is for you.